Hello everyone, welcome to the software coding tutorial channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be discussing about veridic functions. Veridic functions are function example given standard sprintf function which take a variable number of arguments. To declare a veridic function, ellipsis is used as the last parameter example given int sprintf char star string constant char format comma ellipsis. Today I will show you how to make a veridic function similar to sprintf which you can use to convert different data types int float double char char star to a standard C++ string. The function I create will have the following format. Uh, you pass in you call string underscore format you pass in, in a uh, format a string percent i dash percent i dash percent i and here's the argument uh, 4 10 and tw 20 20 are all um, integer value and the output would be 4 dash 10 dash 2020 and the example below um, here I'm passing in a percent s which represent a string percent i is also uh, integer value and so here is my argument uh, April 10 2020 and the output will be April 10 comma 2020 as you can see that uh, here is my formatted string okay so let's jump into Visual Studio Code and first thing I'm gonna create a new folder and I call it veradic and in this folder I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file called veridic function dot cpp and let's begin um, typing our program so the first thing is I'm gonna include IO stream include C standard arc and this is basically for our veridic uh, function and I'm gonna go ahead and include string include uh, SS stream which I'll be calling O stream okay, O string stream okay and then declare using namespace standard and I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, string format function so string string format and then constant char fmt dot dot so this is going to be our um, veridic function that we're going to create so here I'm going to declare o string stream ss so allows me to convert um, different data type to create a string object okay then I'm going to declare VA list arcs VA start arcs FMT or format Okay, and then I'm gonna create a while loop while star FMT or format not equal to null I'm gonna go ahead and check for uh, certain things in our string okay so if format equal to slash slash this allows me to escape the actual character okay so 
So I'm going to go and increment it and then convert this um, character. Else if FMT or format star format string uh, equal to percent then I'm expecting basically uh, a formatted uh, string right so in this case I'm going to do a switch star FMT and I'm going to look for uh, okay I'm going to go ahead and increment and then do a switch so case I I'm expecting basically an integer right so I'll um, convert int i equal to va arc uh, arcs int okay and then semicolon and then basically convert okay and then do a break okay kc I'm expecting a char, right? A character. So it'll be um, int c equal to va arc arcs int, and then um, convert this uh, as a static. Basically, cast this. So static cast this to a character and then convert to um, o string o str uh, string streamed object right and then break okay moving on to the next one so I'm gonna go ahead and detect uh, for float right <clears throat> so case F um, looking for float or double right I'm gonna go ahead and convert double F equal to V A arc arcs type of double and then convert this and then break okay Oh, sorry, I mistyped it. So next one, I'm going to detect for a string, right? A char star. So detect char star or string. And char star equal VA arc arcs char star. Then convert it <coughs> and break okay otherwise um, go ahead and convert the default uh, default formatted uh, character right? and then break okay and I need a colon here <clears throat> okay and then um, so this is part of the switch statement right so we want to go down to where we need to convert an else uh, so we need an else statement here so else we gonna have to convert um, basically cast this to a character Okay, and then and last thing we need to increment. Okay, and then we also need to end this by declaring vn arcs. Okay, then return ss. 
so basically we turn um, the O string O string stream object and convert it to a string and return it back to the caller okay so this completes the the function uh, that um, basically it's a very dec uh, function okay as you can see here <clears throat> now um, I, I need to return um, I'll go ahead and do a return I'm sorry I'm gonna go ahead and create main right so in our main routine I'm gonna go ahead and declare um, uh, for example the example I'll show you is string string okay call a string and then uh, call string format percent i percent i percent i so this is our formatted string right and I, I'm going to feed in uh, the argument for 22 20 20 right and then go ahead and do a C out okay then I'll go ahead and do another one string equals string format um, percent s percent i comma percent i and this will be March uh, let's say April uh, 22nd 2020 okay and I forgot the quote here sorry and then go ahead and do a C out and then returns zero and let, let's save this okay let's, let's save this program and let's go to an X terminal and let's do CD to Veridic and let's do an LS and type in G++ Veridic underscore function dot CVP and we get an a.out dot out. Okay, type in a dot out and as you can see here we get four twenty two twenty twenty and in April twenty second comma twenty twenty. Okay? And I'm gonna create another example for you. Okay, so for this example I'm gonna do a long format a string percent s okay hello my name is percent s and I am percent I and working for percent s okay so I can uh, type in uh, my name is Mr. X and I'm 35 working for a company for a company right a company and and I'll do a C out of this to show you what the output so um, let's go to our terminal recompile the code and do an a.out and you can see that hello my name is Mr. X and I'm 35 working for a company okay so this is a quick tutorial of how you can create your own very dick function and uh, if you like this kind of tutorial 
please remember to first like and subscribe and support uh, my channel. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.